let's see if we can try this again and hopefully the power won't go out this time just get my chair fixed keyboard move let's go back to live scene and let's jump back in here grab a little bit of speed I'm gonna just flip through my vehicle so I can zoom the cameras out try and pick up now I had I did have to come back in and go to my last save and cut half the trees again that we already cut all right so this contract is done so I'll have to bring a truck down here We're going to go sell those wood chips off in a second. Let's just get this guy moved up here. Yeah, that sucked. It, it, thank God my last save wasn't that far back. So I had to recut about a little bit less than half the trees that we already cut. All right, so let's take care of, well, both my tippers are tight. Now, let's just take care of the contract first. And then we'll come back and sell off the wood chips. Good thing I wasn't, good thing I didn't have an i3D open, or it would have definitely been corrupted when I lost power. Like, if I was working on the map, I would have been screwed. I would have had to put my backup in. So that's why I got into the habit of backing up my map at the end of the night after working on it. Because I've already lost like a three day save. And I've had to go back and redo like three days worth of work. But yeah, I'm not going to be on here long. I just wanted to come in and finish up what we started this morning and get our next load of cows. Alright, so what cell point is this going to? This is going to Johnny's Port Grain. See if the dog's going to behave himself or if I'm going to end up kicking him out. As long as he lays quietly, he's fine. As long as he doesn't start biting himself. Won't have a problem. I didn't even check. He did harvest this entire field, correct? Uh, where are we? 56. He did. It's actually warming up pretty nice out today. I grabbed my jacket to run to the pharmacy and to Dollar General and didn't need it. Alright, back 
compartment. While it's filling, let's take another peek at harvesting contracts. Do any other ones that pay this well? Yeah, I'm not doing, we're not doing root crop. We owned our own harvester. Yeah, there's nothing else in here worth it. Canola. It's only 31,000. Yeah, there's really nothing else in here that's worth taking at the moment. So harvester can sit here till we need it. Yeah, we'll get this sold off, we'll cash the contract in, we'll sell the wood chips, and we should be able to buy another load of cows. We're not going to have too much to do. We'll probably forward time and sleep tonight. We will take care of the boulders and the mines, though. Vortex 99, yeah, we lost power. And I had to go back in and cut like a third of the trees that I already cut. So it went back to my last save. So I cut all the trees so I wouldn't bore you with the tree, <laughs> with cutting the trees. So I got all those cut before I came back on. Oh crap, I didn't even see those train signals come on. That would have sucked if we went flying across the map. All right, over to Johnny's. At least it's not making us drive all the way to the back of the map. I don't see how much extra cash we get from this contract. Go watch the money and go up. Oh, cool. Four hundred twenty nine thousand plus another sixty. So that almost bought us an entire load of cows. Can I get out of here? Can I make the turn? Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice payday. Now we got wood chips to sell off. We can definitely get two loads of cows. We have some clay to sell off as well. And I think we're going to take this field over even a little bit further to the left. Next time it has to be plowed. We'll see how much barley we get off of it first. Yeah, it's... <laughs> 
That was not pretty. The power went out, and I lost the save. Good thing I didn't have the map open. My sister was always actually in the shower when the power went out. She's bitching, can't use my blow dryer. All right, wood chips, I'm going the wrong way. Let's take care of that. All right, I'm gonna try and take both of these over to the sell point. So we can sell them pretty much both at the same time and the, hopefully the price won't drop. So if I put you like here, then we go get this guy. That's the worst. Have been I've had that happen in the shower and power out. Yeah, complete darkness. <laughs> Definitely X. Yeah. Actually her bathroom has the Yeah, their bathroom has a window. The downstairs bathroom where I'm at has no window. There we go. Sell both of these. All right, so let's start dumping this one. We'll watch the money go up. If I don't get stuck in here, I'll jump in the other one. So, oh, it's only, oh, it stopped selling. I have to be in it. All right, I can't jump out. It, it'll stop selling. Here we go, 889,000, and so that's one load of cows. This should be at least two more loads of cows. Five hundred eighty-three thousand. Yeah, that'll get us. This will get us a couple loads. I want to take care. It's eighteen fifty-two in game, so we only have about thirty minutes before it gets dark. So I want to get a few more things done before it gets dark, and then we'll get the cows in first thing in the morning. I'm gonna throw. This guy here, let's jump back over there and grab that other truck. We should have better contracts in the morning as well. Uh, guess we'll come over and visit and jump in our truck. There's a few things I want to do. <clears throat> Mainly, I want to get the wood chips planted, they're the poplar planted, before it gets dark. And this guy will use to pick up the mining product. So he can sit here. 
Did it? Did that not connect? Okay, it did connect. All right, let's grab our plow. And look, we have a tractor already connected to it. Let's get two poplar fields in. So we don't have to mess with any trees. Unless we buy the forest across the way. Let's see if it's cost feasible. Okay, so you unfold. If we look at the property over here, what's it going to cost us? That's almost worth it because we could take all these trees out and then put another poplar field in over there. I'm going to get that because we'll work towards it. And if I have to, I'll cut all those trees off camera. All right, so let's go allow create fields and drop. Besides, it'll give us something to do, especially if we get rain. We can just go over there and cut trees. All right, this end's going to be a little bit tricky. All right, let's stop right about there. Try and get you lined back up. Uh, that'll work. Make the swing a little bit further over than I wanted, but that's all right. And start down here, we'll come back up the other way. Now we are going to need money for the harvester and the header, but I'm going to lease it. And then eventually we could probably buy it, but we'll just lease it for now. Alright, so we're going to put a poplar field here. Let's turn off allow create fields for now and we're gonna look at one more field I don't want to give up too much of our grass but we can always change it back from poplar to grass is over here
I'm almost positive we own this. We do. We're going to extend this field over. Let's go back to allow create fields. I don't need that dirt road. Now I may extend this field like all the way down. Yeah, we might as well. and even it up. Alright, that'll work. We'll see what kind of mess we made out of uh, lime and fertilizer with this field. Alright, what is field and what is not field. Okay, not field starts here. Turn off allow create fields. What kind of mess did we make over here? Part of, yeah, part of it needs lime, part of it needs we should have just <laughs> probably came in and plowed the whole darn thing. That's alright. We'll throw lime down. I might as well throw lime down, fertilizer down. And then we'll seed it. No, I can't throw fertilizer down. We'll throw a lime down and we'll seed it and then we'll see what where where that leaves us. We don't have a lot of lime, but we'll throw down what we can. Eventually we're gonna plow all of this into one big field. And we'll get double the grass off of it. All right, let's grab our lime spreader. Let's see if we that I know we threw a little bit of stone in before I lost power. So we'll see how much more lime we made get cover open oh not bad not bad at all
Oh, these slow vehicles drive me nuts. Start down on the skinny end. I knew I should have taken those last couple trees out. They're going to be blocking my camera. I'm not going to go back and worry about that one little spot we missed. Come on, fold your thing up. There you go. So this is going to need lime on everything that we've plowed. Almost positive. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, it's going to need lime on just what we plowed. Stop. This thing has horrible brakes. It needs to be sped up and the brakes need to be fixed. Right, let's go grab our cedar. Get this guy parked. All right, stop. Uh, cedar. Look, it already has a tractor on it. Let's change it to poplar now before I forget and we'll be planting something completely different. This may be a little bit big for that area back there. 
she may be too wide. We may, we may be go. We may be leasing a smaller planter to get in here. I'm going to come down here and spin around and start at the skinny end before I even start to unfold this. Yeah, I should have taken those last couple trees out. I'll just go into drone mode for a minute. Let's get, oh, we're going to have to come down and get a little bit more, no nope, maybe not, no nope, we should be good. We are going to have to come back and get that one spot in the middle. Get you folded up, we'll go hit that last field. almost dark enough for us to sleep the night. Which we have still have to put a sleep trigger down. Alright, we're going to start down on this end. Now I'm going to lease the harvester and header while we still have the cash so I don't spend it all on cows and then when the pop time comes for the poplar to be ready we don't have the equipment. I don't mind paying the leasing fee but I don't want to spend 600000 or $700,000 on the T440 and header.
I'm going to make it in one pass. She'll be close. Oh yeah, we think we can make it in one pass. Let's see what kind of mess we have with fertilizer and lime. Not too bad. Field 7 with rats pretty well done. The other one's going to need um, a layer of fertilizer. Let's get this guy back to the yard. We've got about 15 minutes of busy work to do and we'll sleep the night. We'll get our cows first thing in the morning. Then tomorrow, game day, we're going to have a ton of grass to cut. So we're going to need every bit of it to make TMR. Oh, slow down. I was going too fast. I almost, I did miss the first bay. Alright, a couple more things I want to get done. Let's grab our boulders and get those crushing. Before we sleep tonight, you've got plenty of water, you've got plenty of diesel. What do we have? A boulder and a half, so not much. We're just going to super strength them in. I'm not going to mess with uh, a rock trailer yet. This other half a boulder. Oh, that one just spawned. So, oh no, we have a, almost a full boulder here as well. All right, you go in there. Let's grab our coal boulders. Did we put a quarry silo down anywhere? We did not. We're going to need one. So let's grab this guy. Grab this guy. And this guy should have plenty of diesel and water. It does. We got about, yeah, about another 10 minutes before it gets dark. So let's get this product sucked up real quick. I don't think we have a quarry silo down. We don't. We can always use the home silo. Oh, I got super strength on. I, I, for, I always forget that. This picked up should go pretty quick. 
gravel we're not using, we're going to sell. Should have picked up the coal first. It's probably dark over there. And then we'll grab. It's not much, but it's going to be some extra cash. She's not much. Let's see what we get. I would love to throw this in storage and just sell it off when we get a full load, but we'll just sell it off real quick. Try and get this coal picked up before it gets dark. Yeah, we're gonna have, I'm going to have to spend the money put a silo down. Rather than driving 85,000 liters over to the cell point. We don't need the coal. I just want to get it up before it get, before we sleep the night. Probably come over here and grab the clay first since we're close. We'll sell that off, then we'll go pick up the coal, and that should give us enough time where we can throw the sleep trigger down. Yeah, only 43,000. Hey, 43,000 is still like almost 10 cows. It lets us buy like 8 cows. Alright, let's get this picked up. And I like coming in from the other direction, so we're going to grab it from this direction. Clay is, we're running this mine strictly for the cash. Since we're making the diesel, we might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, no warning, just the power. Usually we can hear the transformer explode. It's usually a squirrel on a transformer nearby, but I didn't hear any explosion before the power went out this time. It just wham, it was gone. Sitting here streaming. All of a sudden, everything goes black. The computer's like, all the fans in the computer go down. Ceiling fan went off. TV went off.
then you get that just like dead silence. Alright, we got about five minutes before it gets dark. Let's get this sold off. Hundred twenty nine thousand. So, uh, ten cows or fifty thousand. So twenty twenty two more cows. Actually, I want to go. Ah, I want to go buy the silt pond. I'm going to sneak through here, grab the silt real quick, so we can take it over to the fertilizer factory. Grab this. Now, if we get a bunch of extra fertilizer it sells really well so we'll definitely keep making fertilizer if we have the extra silage Are we missing some on the ground we are are you down you are down it's hard to see in the water sometimes plus it's not helping the fact that it's getting dark Yeah, I just saw the police report where my mom, well, I saw the come over the scanner in Pennsylvania, right near where my mom lives. Somebody jumped off the bridge, and they're, uh, the water rescues out, and they called the coroner. Let's get this guy over. A couple minutes before it's completely dark. I don't like streaming in the dark. Because it doesn't make for good viewing. but we'll get this dumped off real quick. And let's see if we can get that coal picked up. Now another little thing of income we could do is make a little bit of plastic and turn them into sacks at the sack factory and crank up the ice house because the bags of ice actually sell pretty good but I'm trying not to turn this into a production map I'm just trying to come up with the alternative ways of income alright so fertilizer is which one? It's this one here. So maybe, yeah, let's get you dumped off. 
We'll come back and check that menu in a second. Let's grab this little bit of coal before it's too dark. Then after we sleep tonight, we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to throw the boulders back in and then get our crushed product back up off the ground. All right, what do we have in the way of lights? Oh, pretty good. All right, let's get this taken care of real quick. So I want to get as much stone I want these to run as much as they can overnight, so I want to get as much stone over to stone processing so we can get more lime. The only place we're using coal at is the refinery, and I think it's about full. So whatever we don't, whatever it doesn't take, we're going to have to run over to the farm silo. I'd rather not spend the money on a quarry silo. Go see what the refinery is going to take. take it all? It will. Awesome. So you don't have to worry about emptying it. Now you sit here. Alright, so what do we have in the way of diesel real quick? Let's check a few things. You, We have, we're using all the diesel it's making, but you've got grain, you've got silage, you've got coal, so you're making what diesel you can. And then we have a little bit more TMR to feed the next batch of cows, so we're good there. Where are we with seeds and fertilizer? You need silage, but you've got plenty of fertilizer for now. You don't have a lot of seeds because you need some fertilizer, so we're going to have to move some fertilizer over. Let's take care of that real quick. Uh, do I want to use the dry or do I want to use the liquid? Let's grab... Let's fill this guy up first, then we'll grab the liquid. We'll move the liquid over. We'll save the solid fertilizer for our fertilizer spreader. But let's top this guy off first. A couple more jobs real quick, and I'll definitely sleep the night. Alright, so you're full. Let's Pop the seeds off since we're right here. We don't have a lot of seeds, but we'll top off what we have. Oh, cool. It did fill it up. Now let's move some liquid fertilizer over. And then all of our factory work is done. Oh, we're going to have to switch tra trailers. Also turn the lights on. So let's grab... 
we only have like 84,000 liters of grain in there, I think. How much grain do we have? How much fertilizer do I need to move over? 84,000 liters. So we about the same will do. So let's grab that should do it. There we go. That's going to crank this back on. We'll get about another 84,000 liters of seeds. So we'll be good with seeds and fertilizer for a little bit. Lime, we don't have much of. Because we don't have a lot of stone. Now we may have to buy another mine or two just to get the stone. Alright, let's get our sleep trigger down. Uh, let's grab, what do we have? Uh, farmhouses. Oh, cool. Let's just grab the old outhouse. We got we need a place to go anyway, right? Let's throw the old crapper down over here. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Let's go 12 hours. Oh, I'm stuck in the crapper. I couldn't get out. I couldn't move. All right. What, all right. New day. We are going to grab. We're going to start off with our cows. So we should have enough money for at least two, three truckloads of cows. And then we may have to put, well, we may get two truckloads and then put another shed down. How many cows do we have so far in this shed? We have 518. We're going to get another 500 cows in two loads. How much is another cow barn? We've got to save 200. Actually, you know what? Let's throw it down now. This way we'll save the money. I'm hoping I just didn't put a cow barn down over there by accident. All right, let's get. Oh, that's right. This only goes one way. Uh, we'll, let's. Now nah, we'll just line it up with this one. We'll line her up with this one. And we'll give ourselves room to drive in and out. Alright, let's go grab. This way I won't spend the money and we'll have it for the next shed. And let's grab ourselves. So the first barn is black and white cows. We'll stick with the black and white until we get till we fill it. And then this next cow barn we put down will get brown and white. Now we slept the night. We should have some good contracts. So let's take a look at those really quick before we buy this load of cows. We might be able to move our harvester. unless our own barley fields are ready. Let's look at our barley fields and then we'll look at the contracts. I don't want to start a contract if our own barley fields are ready to harvest. Oh crap, we have to lease a uh, poplar harvester and header as well. All right, let's look at the map real quick. Where are we on our growth stages? Barley, not quite ready, but we're going to have to harvest that soon. Any other contracts for harvesting that are worth the money? Nothing. All right, so that answers that question. Black and white cows for this barn. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do like one color per barn. So we'll do a whole barn of brown, a whole barn of brown and white, a whole barn of black, a whole barn of black and white, and then we'll 
by the other type of cows will do the same thing. So let's finish this one off. Oh, I don't want sheep. That would suck. Let's grab a full truck, which is going to be like six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Run these over. Oh, I forgot how slow this thing moves with, with a full load. Of course, I guess we shouldn't be flying down the road at 100 miles an hour with uh, 250 cows. Surprised we didn't get another good harvesting contract. There's plenty of fields ready to be harvested. Give it another 20 minutes, we'll check it again. Don't you dare tip over. Now every barn we put down, we're taking potential grass and away. A potential grass is TMR because we turn it into silage and hay, and then we throw it in the TMR mixer. So eventually, we're going to have to get another field for another meadow for grass. Oh, that's right, I'm going in this barn. Other barn's going to be for our next color cow. I forgot this thing has a small hit box. Look, our cows already went down in value. I'm going to wear my mouse out more than it already is. Let's go grab another load. And that should fill this barn, right? What do we have? 700, no, we can fit 2,000. We're good yet. Let's grab another 250. Straw is going to be the problem. 
bedding, we, we're going to probably have to buy another field for uh, barley. The reason I'm going with strictly barley is because we're using it to make seeds and we're using it to make diesel with. Guess we could have taken that closer bridge. Doesn't I guess six of one half dozen of another. Alright, let's grab another nope, oh, not the sheep. I almost did it again. Black and white cows. Yeah, we lose $500 per cow when we buy them. Guess we could have went with like sheep. <laughs> They're only $400 a piece. We'd have had uh, like 4,000 sheep by now. Dogs laying on the floor snoring. There we go. Confirm. Bam, another $625,000 gone. I gotta remember between streams to go in and take the weight off of this truck. She is um, definitely struggling with a full load. So on Farm Sim 22, we'll have to do the um, 64,000 sheep challenge. It'll definitely go quicker. Oh, sheep food's a pain in the butt to make, though. They've got a pain in the butt recipe. I don't think it's a, it's, I think sheep food is, are, is a lot more material. I don't, yeah, TMR is definitely easier to make than sheep food. Come on, back it up. Uh, let's move you guys over. Or, or, actually, let's move the ladies over. Wear out my mouse. Mouse is cheaper to replace than a keyboard. I have a couple spare wired mouses, but I don't have a spare wireless mouse. This mouse built six maps. Alright, so where are we now? We got enough, we can buy one more truckload. We have it, yeah, let's go get it. Let's go grab one more. The problem is we're not going to have straw. We're not going to have enough straw till we harvest our barley. Uh, I guess I should have went over the other bridge. It is closer. Oh, we gotta go um, fertilize our poplar field.
Sassy one, hello, thanks for stopping back in. Yeah, I was sitting here streaming earlier and like, bam, power outage. I had to go back in and recut like a third of the trees already cut. Alright, let's try this again. Another 250 cows. What if the animal dealer ever runs out of animals? What does that leave us in the way of cash? Not enough for another full load. But we have to lease a poplar harvester and header anyway. Oh, I may have too much for this barn. I didn't even think about that. That's all right, we can put another barn down. Because the barn we just put down, we're going to use for the brown and white cows. And then once this barn gets full and reaches its max, we're going to have to start moving the cows over into another barn as they're reproducing. So what I should probably do is put another barn down now that we have, since we have the cash. You wondered what happened? Yeah, I was sitting there and all of a sudden, bam, no power. Like, usually we can hear the explosion, we can hear the squirrel on the transformer explode itself, but nothing this time, it just was out. Thank God I didn't have a map I3D open or I would have been screwed, it would have corrupted the I3D. So I've had that happen to me before. I was, thank God it wasn't a map, it was a placeable, but if you lose power while you, while you have an I3D open, it doesn't save it, it automatically gets corrupted. So if I was working on the new map and I lost power, I'd been crying like a little baby. Because there was no, there's no way of saving it. By that point, you just put your backup in. Yeah, I mean, the, the map's not that far along, but I, I didn't back it up when I was done building yesterday. Um, so my oldest backup map is like three days old. So I'm going to have to, before I work on it next, I'm going to have to back it up. I don't know if we can fit all these cows in this barn. Let's confirm that. And then we'll see what we have in here. 1184, okay, we're good yet. Let's move the rest of them over. Well, move some more over. I wasn't counting the clicks. I think they'll hold 1024, actually. Or 2024 before it maxes it out. Yeah, so where are we with cow? Oh, 1268, we're good. So empty truck, 1,268 cows, uh, we need, let's grab some TMR, uh, and water, and straw. Straw I'm concerned with because we don't have a lot. And then we'll grab... I, ooh, I'm hoping our bunker cleaner will pick up what's in there. Alright, what do we have? 
let's grab the TMR that we have. We have definitely have more TMR, I just don't know how much straw we have. Gonna, is it going to take all of this? We're going to need more. It is. Oh no. Almost. Almost. Let's dump this back in here. And see how much straw we have. We're not allowed to buy any, so we're going to have to hope our barley's ready to harvest soon. Come on, give me the start filling. There we go. Uh, that's all we have. I know there's a straw trigger in here somewhere. And it's going to use every last bit of it. I'm really hoping I don't have to come in here with a tractor and a, with a front loader and a bucket to pick up the... Uh, uh oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Let's back out of here to pick up their spilt food. I'm hoping I can come in with the bunker cleaner and pick it up. All right, let's grab the water. We're going to need more water. Get the water and we'll check on uh, the, we'll check the stats again. Looks like our grass is not quite ready to harvest or to cut. I'll does this have the front three point hitch? It does. Wonder how well this will do with the bunker cleaner on it. So 
Where are we? So we're getting a new cow every hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, cleanliness, we're at 87%, so we don't even really need to clean them out. So there's n really nothing else we could do now with cows. Our barley is not quite ready to harvest. Uh, what do we have? All these fields that you see unfertilized are grass meadows. I do want to throw some fertilizer down on the poplar. Now we really don't have much to do other than taking care of the mines. So we could, might be able to do some contracts. Well, we'll pick up the mines uh, fertilizer first. Now, which one of you are lime? And which one of you are fertilizer? What are my chances? You're fertilizer. hit up this poplar field. Uh, let's start down on this end. to get out of those trees I couldn't see. Well, we can cut more trees to kill some time also. So we did buy another forest. Do you have a collision? No, you don't. All right, let's grab this last little bit. All right, since we're making fertilizer and the grass is not quite ready to cut, we'll get more grass. So let's just let's just go for it. We're making the fertilizer, we might as well use it. Are you taking it? You're not taking it. I have to fertilize this when it comes, is, am I just, is this taking it or is this not taking it? It's not taking it. So this has to be fertilized in the first growth stage only. All right, so that answers that question. So as soon as we cut the grass, we have to fertilize it. Alright, since our barley's not quite ready, let's double check the growth stage. It's not. What do we have in the way of harvesting contracts? Did this refresh? It did not. We're not doing cotton. We're not doing potato. Yeah, we're just have to wait for this to refresh. So there's no contracts worth it. I guess we can take care of the mines. Oh, sister's home. Let me go close my door. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. 
Okay, so we definitely have some boulders, which is going to be really nice. We're just going to strong arm it. I'm not spending the money on the boulder truck. I guess we could use the pallet trailer. We don't have a pallet trailer. We'll strong arm them. Are you at zero? Are you the one I just picked up? No, you're 100,000 liters. Now, once we get some excess coal, we're definitely going to sell it off. You are, you're not the full one. Okay, you're the partial one. So you'll be the one that goes in last. But this will get us more stone for lime. You should be a full boulder, you are. You should be full boulder. Full boulder. And partial, but we'll take it. You can start spawning new boulders. All right, let's go pick up the rocks. And it will pick up the gravel and the coal and the clay. All right, so these should all be full boulders, they are. Good thing I had my Wheaties this morning. I know Papa Smurf was working on an auto-load bucket for these. I don't know if he ever got it finished. Where it can move like three boulders at a time. I'll have to send him a message and ask him if he ever got it finished. It will be nice for like this kind of job where you're, you don't have every mine running and you only need to move a couple boulders at a time. Quit rolling. I guess we could build a placeable stone mine that all it does is give us stone if we wanted to and not have to worry about these. In. Oh, on the edge. Almost. There you go. Right, let's turn strength back off. 
Dodge Neck got one for 12 pieces. Yeah, we don't use his equipment though. Uh, when that person was having issues this morning, all I could do is think of that. I'm so glad I've been a Ridgy Stalker since the first. It's so hard with, especially with the language barrier, trying to explain to him how to work a different map when I'm streaming this map. It just makes it super, super difficult. All right, let's grab, let's grab the coal first, because we're gonna have a pro we're gonna have to put a quarry silo down. I don't want to sell off like eighty thousand liters at a time. I'd rather just stick it in a silo and sell it off when we have like two million liters. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of money on a quarry silo. I got to find out if Dixie's planning on um, streaming. Actually, let's check on the diesel with this one really quick too, because I haven't done that in a while. I, it should be good for a little bit yet. We should have enough diesel made now where we can fill these up. I'm sure the uh, silt mine and the clay mine are going to need diesel as well. So eventually the refinery is going to be full and we're going to need a place to store the coal. So we might as well, we have a little bit of cash, we might as well spend it. Now I don't know if I want to lease the poplar harvester and header or if we should just spend the money and buy the poplar header and the harvester. Oh, my thing didn't pop up. I didn't even see that. N-A-T-S-C. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Much appreciated. I didn't see the pop-up on my screen. I didn't hear it either, so I do apologize. I've been having a lot of issues with Streamlabs and Nightbot. Every time there's an update, it messes all my settings up. Uh, but Master Mecca, thank you also for popping in. Much appreciated. All right, how much more coal is this going to take? This is our only fact. It's the only reason we're using the coal mine is to make diesel with. And you took it all perfect. So the, it's a little bit of gravel we pick up. We're going to have to sell, but let me do something first. Let me grab the stone. I'm going to grab the stone from here. And I'm going to grab the stone from the coal mine so we can turn it into lime. Farm Chick is back as well. Good afternoon. Thanks for popping back in. Yeah, when I was streaming earlier, it was like, bam, power outage. It was off for about a half an hour. And then when I came back in, I gave it in like another 15, 20 minutes before I turned the computer back on. And then I had to go back in and recut a lot of the trees that I already cut. Yeah, so now we'll have plenty of stone to make some lime with. We 
we're only running the two mines. We need coal to run the refinery, and we need the rock to make stone so we can make lime. So these are the only three factories we're actually running. So let's check the uh, menu here to make sure we only have lime turned on. Everything else is turned off. And it is. What do you need? You're going to need diesel. You don't need water, but you are going to need diesel. All right. So let's get the gravel picked up and sold. We'll get the clay picked up and sold. And we'll get the silt picked up and taken over to the fertilizer factory. Went to put on a load of laundry and when I came back you were gone. Yeah, it's like BAM! Power outage. That's why I, when I'm working in a map I back save up very very often. Yeah, if we had the map open and it was we were in there working and it was unsaved when we lost power, the i3D would have been corrupted. And we would have had to put the backup map in and lost whatever progress I made. The only thing that sucks about working on i3D when the power goes out. Then the other thing is when you're zipping the file up and the power goes out, it usually corrupts the files also. So that sucks even more. I can't afford the $500 power surge that has the battery backup in it. the uh, surge protector with the battery backup. They're just too expensive. Let's, since we're not going to store it, let's just sell it off. Drive by our barley field and see what, if it's finished growing yet or not. Sounds like my sister may be running back out. I just thought I heard the car start and the door close. And it looks like the barley's still green, not brown. Oh, excuse me one sec. Sorry about that, I just needed something to drink. Alright, 170 grand or 170,000 liters. Maybe we can sell enough to buy 10 cows. Dog's not acting like someone just left though. I'll just stick my head out there in a minute. 
40,000. Eight cows. Oh, no! That's not good. That's never good. Uh, how hard are you going to be to write? Oh, come on. There we go. Well, that wasn't good. Right, let's see. Uh, let's check on diesel here. You've got plenty of diesel. We are going to have to get diesel to our other facilities. So we were able to buy another 500 cows today. If you're joining us a little bit late, we earned about two million dollars yesterday game day which got us or maybe it was three loads of cows I can't remember but we need six hundred twenty five thousand dollars per load of cows because we're buying 250 at a time So I'll have to go in and see how exactly, I forget how many cows we have. Maybe up to like 1,300, I think. Yeah, my short-term memory is horrible, so I, I know we looked at that number a couple minutes ago, I just can't remember. Let's see what we get for this. Why is this snowblower acting like it's on the ground? Because it is. All right, what do we get? 94 grand. Not even 20 cows, it's like 18 cows. Well, over here, we'll grab the silt. Oh, it's out of diesel. We don't have any silt. Yeah, she's out of diesel. Uh, is there any? Is there a little bit in there? We don't need it. No, she's out of diesel. All right. So she shut herself down. So we're gonna have to do a diesel run next. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. There's no more road. I don't want to drive through our field.
right, let's go see how much diesel we have made. The stone processing plant is the priority. I am going to get out of here in a few minutes though. If my sister's gone and I can still stream, not that it makes a difference whether she's gone or not, but it, I don't know what she has any other plans. So if I can stream, I'll take about a 15 20 minute break. Let me know if y'all want to play on the Ritchieville map for a bit, or not the Ritchieville map, the, the valley map for a little bit. Or if you want me to go in and work on that last unfinished map for a little bit. Alright, Diesel, how much do you have made? Third, oh cool, we have enough to fill, we should have enough to fill everything up. Yeah, let me know if you want me to stream the valley map or if you want me to come in and build, do a little, we'll get that last unfinished map a little bit further along. Now, it's not going to get done before 22 comes out. And it's not going to get done shortly after 22 comes out because 22 is going to be the priority. I'll leave it up to me. Yeah, we'll see what I feel like. Yeah, we're going to take every last bit of this diesel. We'll fill everything up. Or we'll fill up what we can. What do you need? You're out of nothing, so you're just slow. The lake map. B I L. I feel yeah. I can definitely work in the editor for a little bit. I'm gonna back up the. I'll take about 15, 20 minute break. I'll back. I gotta back up the map first. Cause I haven't backed it up in like two days. I did finish um, Center Mountain yesterday off camera. The fishing's working, the earthworms are working, the uh, fish storage is working. I want to, yeah, let's come down here to stone processing first and we'll backtrack. Now I don't want to put more than, do you only hold 50,000? I don't want to overfill the diesel. You only hold 50,000. All right. Let's head over to, I got to be careful with the silt. I think the silt is set too high. So I got to make sure we don't put every last bit of diesel in there. But yeah, we can definitely come in and work on the, the Lake Valley map or Hidden Lake map for a little bit. I start, like I said, I finished Center Mountain, so it's complete. Like, trees, grass, like, good to go. Now, the top of the mountain, not the base of the mountain, but the top of the mountain's done. Uh, let's go to the silt, and we'll come back to the clay. And I started working on the lower dock at the base of the waterfall. It's almost done. And then after I get that done, I want to finish Mining Island. Alright, what do you have? How much diesel do you take? Yeah, see, so you take 500,000 liters. i got to be really careful. I only want to put in about 50,000. So we'll, so we'll stop it at about 220,000, right about there. That should hold that for a while.
So yeah, I'll go and I'll show you all what I finished. We'll finish the lower port and then uh, we'll f I'm going to get the top of Mining Island done. All the mines are in and working, but I don't have this stuff, any of the stuff painted in on the ground yet. That's like very, very last. Now we can go fill the coal mine and the gravel mine. And that should be everything that uses diesel. So we'll have to put the little storage tank down. We're going to top off, which side is it? The other side. We'll top off the coal. We'll top off the stone. Oh, I had a whole bunch of, uh, like I said, um, my, um, let me just go back in and check on Chef. Bear with me one sec. I got to go back. I must have had a raid. Hold on. Oh, I did. Luby Gaming is raiding with a party of six. Thank you very much. I'm not sure why night, I'm going to have to go in and reset Nightbot. Your gamer from today, thank you very much. Uh, Rebecca, another raid. Thank you very much. 1018. Uh, Rebecca, thank you, thank you. Lobby Gamer, Sass. Yeah, thank you very much, y'all, for that. Much appreciated. Let's jump back in here. I'm not hearing the. I'm going to have to go into Reset Nightbot. Because I'm not getting anything up on my screen. It was working earlier. Oh, I, when I lost power, I didn't log back in. I gotta go log back into Nightbot before I come back on and stream. It was working before I lost power and then after I, I rebooted the computer, it logged me out. So I'm gonna have to go in and reset that. All right, so that's every factory that uses diesel. Sorry to, but got to need to do, go do some, yeah, I'm actually getting ready to get out of here in like five minutes anyway. Let's throw down, uh, we need, where is it at? It's under placeables. I want the diesel storage tank, this guy. And we're going to come back over here. And right about here, I think we're going to put diesel storage down. So we can get our truck empty. And we could fill every all of our equipment up right there. All right, so let's get this guy emptied. I am playing on the my first map out of six that I built. This is the Ritchieville map. We are doing, we're not using the whole map, we're not doing any production. We're just using it to do the 64,000 cow challenge. So we have a Lewis script built into the map that allows 2,000 animals per pen. And all of our animal pens are set at um, 2,000 animals. And we have the mod, the animal limit increaser mod that allows you to put 32 animal pens down so we are doing a crazy challenge until 22 comes out where we are 
if if we don't break the game, we're going to try and put 32 cow sheds down and put 2,000 cows in each shed. But we have to be completely self-sufficient. So we have to make our own seeds. We have to make our own fertilizer, our own lime, our own diesel. We have to make our own TMR. And we have to make our own um, straw for bedding. So this one's out of silage. So we have the TMR mixers. We have our grass dryers that we're making our straw and our hay in. So we have to be self-sufficient. Um, and we're not allowed to buy any cows at the barn. We have to transport every single cow in a vehicle. I'm also doing a bit of a challenge, a bit smaller than yours though, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if we'll get it finished or I don't even know if we're gonna break the map uh, before we even get to 64,000 cows. So we are growing, we own pretty much the center of the map. We're growing our own barley. We're using the barley to make seeds with and we're using part of the barley to make diesel with. And then again, we're using the straw for bedding and to make TMR with. We're go it's not going to be enough though. We're going to have to buy a couple more fields. I'm doing one square challenge on flat map. Nice. That I played that map for a bit. But I am going to throw you all on ending soon. Uh, I'm going to save and close, but bear with stick. Stay with me for one minute. I want to see if my sister is still home or she took off. If she took off, then we'll come back and we'll work in the editor for a little bit. I don't know if she has any plans or any errands to run. So bear with me one second. I'll let you know what the plans are going to be. I just want to get this saved and closed. Uh, give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Yeah, it looks like she came home and then took off again. So give me about 15, 20 minutes and we'll come back in and we'll we'll mess around in the editor with that last unfinished map. Uh, appreciate the raids. Appreciate the follows. Um, catch y'all about 15, 20 minutes.